e to the 4x is a composite function, so to take its derivative, we need to use the chain rule, which I've written here. The derivative of f of g is f prime of g multiplied by g prime, so we need to identify our f, the outside function, and our g, the inside function. In this case, it's pretty clear that 4x is inside the exponential, so that is our g, 4x. Meanwhile, the exponential function is our f, the outside function. So we have f of x equals e to the x and g of x equals 4x. Now, we can use the chain rule to find the derivative of e to the 4x. By the chain rule, we must begin with f prime of g of x, so the derivative of the outside function, with the inside function unchanged. The outside function is e to the x, and the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Of course, in this case, the exponent is our inside function of 4x, which we must leave unchanged. So that's f prime of g. But then we must multiply by g prime, the derivative of that inside function. The derivative of 4x is just 4, so this is our derivative, which we may prefer to write as 4 e to the 4x, just moving that coefficient in front. And that's how to find the derivative of e to the 4x. In general, the derivative of e to the power of some function u is just e to the u multiplied by the derivative of u. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 course and Calculus 1 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.